Masechus Bova Metzia, Baruch Hashem, and today's Omud officially is Yud uh, Aleph, Omud Aleph, but we are still in Yud Omud Beis. We're still in Yud Omud Beis. I would go back a little bit to, uh, to even to the middle of the page, but we're going to go quicker to recap. Let's start from the line that starts with the word Dishlichus. You can start with the words Man de Omar. Morning, Mi'ika man de Omar. Is there a person, Frek de Gemara, and soon we're going to get into it. Mi'ika man de Omar, Chotze Meshum Shlichus Isaboi. Could there be possibly a person? Remember what we said yesterday, Machloikes. Why is it that the Chotze, that a person's domain, actually is coined for the person? Why is it? What's the definition of it? Machloikes or Biochanon and Rishlakish, which also affected the idea of a minor, of a Ktana, Koina. And the question is, do we say a chotzer is a shliach? Is a shliach, which means just like I'm allowed to send a shliach, a messenger, a halachic messenger, a representative, which halachically everything he does automatically relates to me. And the chotzer is also like a shliach, unappointed shliach. It's like my messenger working for me. Or do we say chotzer is an extension of my yad? Look at my yad. A person can be coined things with his hand, especially we'll see later. And we saw before about gerushin, a woman receiving a get. So there, Yad, possibly the, 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 the domain is an extension of one's own hand, as we saw in the Torah, Rebekah has called Alta Miyodoi. Hand doesn't just mean the hand, it means anything you know, that you possess, your territory. Your territory is like your hand, and is going for you. Could you possibly entertain the idea? I'm going back a little bit from yesterday. Yeah, the line starts, Man the Omar. That a chotzer is because of shlichus, that cannot be, Batanya. We've seen a bride said that it cannot be because of shlichus. It says about a lowly thief, what does it say about a ganav? Beyodoi, imi motze timotze beyodoi. If, it's, if the veda is found in the hand of the ganav, then he's a ganav with all the ramifications, kinyan, shminyan, everything we learned in Bovekama. Enli ele yodoi, says the, the Braisa, only if it's in his hand. Gagar chotzer vekarpi for me nine. How do you know that if the Ganav has the item not in his hand, but the Ganav basically acquired it through the item, the stolen item being on his roof, being on his chotzer, in his front yard, in the car path, which was like a backyard for animals, Minayin. How do you know that the domain of the Ganav also, so to speak, steals for him? Talmud Loimar, Himotze, Timotze, Mikol Mokoim. It says twice, the word Himotze, Timotze, twice, to, to extend it and include even the domain. If you entertain the idea that Chotzer is because the Chotzer is like a messenger, Shliach, you can, ah, Matzinu Shliach Ledvar Avero. Oh, we see that a Shliach Ledvar Avero works, which means if I send a person to do an Avero Chas Sholem for me, then we say that what he did does apply to me. And I become obligated, Chayev, and I'm the transgressor if I send someone else to do the Avero for me. And if you say Chotzer is like Shliach, then the Chotzer is working for the Meshaleach, for the one who sent the Chotzer, so to speak, figuratively. And we say that, yeah, now it's considered that he stole and he has to pay, to pay double. He's Chayven Achrayes, the Kaimalan. We know a very, very famous line, a dogma. It says, Ein Shlech Ledvarvera. Ein Shlech Ledvarvera. If Reuben sends Shimon to do an Avera, to chas v'shalom, chalila, kill someone, it'll be extreme. The one who's high for killing is Shimon, not Reuben. Reuben is high. Groma, a different story, not a nice guy. But Shimon is the one who's really high, not Reuben. So how could it be that a chotzer works for the ganev, so to speak, and the ganev will be blamed, and the gneva is considered a gneva, and the chotzer is shliach? No. That's a question. The answer is quite obvious. We said one answer yesterday. We'll see two similar answers today. Omar Ravina, answer number one of Ravina about how could it be that a Ganav is coined through the Chotzer and it's not a problem of Shlichus. You know, when is it that we say and the culprit is the Shaliach and not the Meshaleach? That's only true. It's only true if the Shalich himself is a Bar Chiyuva. Bar Chiyuva is a person who himself is not allowed to commit that sin, which means another person. I'm a Yid, and I sell another Jew. I send him to do the Avera. 
we're both the same level of Chiyu, and therefore it's his fault and not my fault for sending him. Aval bechotzer de lava chiyuvu. A chotzer, what's a chotzer? A chotzer is earth. A chotzer may have some tiles. A chotzer may have some plaster. It's not a human being. There's no Easter loichi gnoivu on the house. <laughs> it's not. It's not even an animal. It's nothing. So mimela then mechayv sholchoi. In that case, yes, you know what? There is an exception to the rule, and we say yes shliach ledvar veira. And then the person who sent, so to speak, of course he didn't send the chotzer. But we view it as this is like his shliach, and the person, the owner of the field, is like the meshaleach. Yes, if you say it's like using a gun, you're not going to say, you know, I use a gun and it's the gun's fault. It's your fault. Yeah, you're the one who created it. Same thing over here. The chotzer is an inanimate object. This is no chiyuvim. Yeah, mimela, there is no shlichus over here. Ela me'ato, or maybe actually there is shlichus over here. There is shlichus, actually, that the meshaleach, the one who sends it, the owner, the brains behind the idea is Chayev. Ela me'ato, according to this, and this I'm going to read very quickly, just reviewing yesterday. However, Leisha ve'eved, su'ugin vuli. If a person tells a woman or a slave, go and steal something for me, uses a woman or an eved knaini as his accomplices, as his uh, long arm to commit his crime and steal for him. The lab bnei chiyuva, the nad bnei chiyuva, the nad bnei chiyuva. Why aren't they bnei chiyuva? Because the woman and a slave, in many cases, have no money. So they don't have a way to, don't have a chiyuv to return what they don't have. Achinam et mechayev shoyel chon. Are you going to say that if I sent a woman or if I sent it, uh, an eved, then I'm chayev and not them? It's a big chiddush. The woman has a mind of her own, right? And of course it's her choice to do it. Answers the Gemara, no. Omarta isha beved bnei chiyuv aninu. The woman and the slave, of course, they're not allowed to steal. Chas v'shalom. They're not allowed to, the Bnei Chiyuva. There are actually people who are not allowed to steal. As we said in Bavikam Adaf Tezvav, remember, it says, Hishva Kosov Ishvi Shalachol Dinin Shabbat For financial ideas, stealing, business, Choyve, Shoros Migo, men and women are exactly the same. Oh, feminism. For stuff. Yeah, so we say what? Of course she's not allowed to steal. The Hashtamiya, but right now, is an exception to the rule, they don't have money. They don't have money to pay because the woman, all her money goes to her husband. The Eved, all his money automatically goes to the master. Mimela, they just don't have a, a mode of payment. But it doesn't mean that they're allowed to do it. They still chose to do the wrong thing. The Tanan. And we'll prove it from a Mishnah in, in, uh, in uh, Bovekane. If the woman got divorced, the Eved got free, they have to pay. Of course they have a Chiyuv. The Chiyuv is like a pending Chiyuv lurking in the corner. You do have a Chiyuv. That lady stole 5,000 shekels. She stole from a store 35 years ago. She got divorced after 35 years. She got to pay those 5,000 shekels. No interest. Why? The Chiyuv is there. She had no way of paying. Better. We wait for you in the corner until we get divorced or until we get widowed. If she doesn't, then they lost. It's a different question. Go to the orchard, maybe. But the Maise shares a Chiyuv. But look, the kids are, answer number one is when the item that's the, like the shliach is not considered to be bar chiyuva, it is no chiyuvim, is no obligation, halachic obligations, then we say, of course, the chotzer does work for the meshaleach, and the meshaleach, the owner, the brains, the one who sent it, is really yes chayv begneva. Very good. So the chotzer is nishta nishta, nothing. Says the Gemara in another terrace by Rav Same. Rav Same Omar, and by the way, Rav Same, according to some Rishonim, actually said it to Rav Ashi. According to one version, it's not Rav Same Omar, but Rav Same Omar, Lekami, the, excuse me, the Ravina, Ravina, Ravina and Rav Ashi are together. In other words, Rav Same actually confronted Ravina. Ravina gave one answer. Rav Same is actually arguing on Ravina. And what does he say? He says a similar but different answer. Rav Sama Omar, when is it that we say and the only culprit is the actual messenger who took the gun and killed someone who, who stole the chule. That is only true. If he wants to, he does it. And if he doesn't want to, he doesn't. I would call it, I would call him in nice crisp English. <laughs> Baal Bechira, I'm sorry. Baal Bechira, yeah, if it's a being of choice, 
a person that has choice whether to do it or not to do it, then the person who chose to do it would say, hey, mister, this is, you chose to do the wrong thing, then it's your fault. Yeah? Okay. Fine. I'm calling you. So I'll call you. Yeah? Sorry. I'm sorry about that. Yeah? Okay, Mashain can the chotzer is not choice. <laughs> the chotzer is no choice whatsoever. The chotzer is no choice that the one that's chayev is the owner, the ganev. Avel chotzer, the Gemara says it. The chotzer, the bal korche moisiv bo chotzer against its will. It's against the will of the chotzer. <laughs> the chotzer has no will. The chotzer's no choice. Is no say in the matter. It's a doormat. Moisiv bo the the ganev put it there. Then the Meshaleach, the Ganev is Chayev. A lot of people are asking now in their minds, and I'm reading your minds, my Beinayu, what's the difference between the first answer, which is Ravina, and the second answer, which is Rav Sama? They both said very similar things. Can you repeat that, Rabbi? Yes, I can. Ravina said what? Ravina said, if the person, the Shliach is Bar Chiyuva, is a person that has Halachic prohibition to do what he does, then the shliach is chayev, otherwise no. And Rav Sama said, if the shliach is a person of choice, is a human being that can choose, that has bechir achayvshis, that has yeah, the, the freedom of choice, then he's chayev, the shliach, and not the brains behind the idea. Otherwise, yeah, but a chotzer, according to both opinions, the chotzer has no halachic chiyuvim, the chotzer has no mind whatsoever, it's not a, it's not a, a a mental thing at all, and therefore a chotzer, of course, everything is misyaches to the ganev and not to the chotzer. What's the difference? What's the difference between a person that has bechira? When would you find a ke- Of course, there's a difference, maybe by a goy. A goy is no shlichus, by the way. Gemara doesn't say goy because goy is no shlichus. That's why goy has many, many, many less chiyuvim than us, and he has bechira. A goy has a bechira. can be a Nazi or it can be a chotzer du masoylom. But the Gemara doesn't say Goy is a difference between the two opinions because Goy have no shlichus. If I send Tim McKenzie to be Mekadish, my darling Kala, it doesn't work. She won't be married to me if Tim McKenzie says, I at Mekadash to the Jew, it doesn't work. So leave Goy out of the story. So if you only talk about Yidin, and also cotton cannot be shliach, <laughs> Goy cannot be shliach. If I send a 10 years old to be my uh, shliach in Kiddushin, could be a nice bridesmaid, maybe a girl. Yeah, Lemaise, there's no shlichus. So we are pinpointing the question and it's not so simple. Please, says the Gemara, find me a case which is different between what? Between a person that has a choice and a person that has a halachic obligation, right? What's the difference between Ravina and Rav Sama? Now we're going to come to a difference. Again, again, let's not get confused. Everyone agrees that a chotzer has no obligations the chotzer is no seichel. It's like a brick, right? It's as stupid as a brick. Yeah, <laughs> It's a bunch of bricks. Of course, the chotzer is uh, nothing. It's, it's a floor. And Mimela, of course, there, the only one active that's chayev is the ganev. But if you send a human being, then the human being is chayev, the Jew, and not the mesholeach, the one who actually committed it. But still, what's the difference between the two answers regarding bal bechira or bal chiyu? Answers, the Gemara, two answers. The difference between them would be in the following case. Cohen, the Omel el Israel, Mr. Cohen, I don't know if you know, uh, I'm joking. Can a Cohen marry a Gerusha? No, a Cohen cannot marry a divorced lady. And he tells the Israel, you know, I'm not going to do it myself. He tells his friend Israel, send the Kaddish to Isha Grusha. I want you to be my Shliach, to be my Kaddish and Isha Grusha, a divorcee for me. You'll be my Shliach. You'll be my shliach, says Mr. Cohen to Mr. Israel. You be Mish- you be Mekadish. And the, and he gave he gives him the ring, the Cohen, to the guy. And the guy, the regular Israel, goes to the Grusha and he says, Hare at Mikudesh, Mr. Cohen, Kedas Moshev Israel. <laughs> Not very Kedas. Yes. No, but the Evich is Mikudesh. The Evich is Mikudesh. A Cohen sent to Israel to be his shliach to be Mekadish and Grusha. Why is that a difference? It's a difference, yeah? Because soon the Gemara will say the difference. I'll say this case, and then another case. Again, Israel, I'll already say it now. already say it now. Leave Leif Ne'ever alone. I, I, I already know your questions before you say them. We're good friends for a long time. Please, Seth Tessus will deal with it. 
leave, leave the Iver out the door for a minute. Thank you. Now, is Strong himself, is he not allowed to marry a Grusha? Of course he's allowed to. <laughs> Happens every day. Israeli, marry Grusha. So he's not in the story of the Chiyuvim. Besides the fact that he causes the coin to sin, yeah, by creating a, a forbidden wedlock, but Lamai say he himself is no Chiyuv. Does he have a choice? Of course he has a choice. The normal guy, he chooses to do the wrong thing in this case, yeah? But Lamai says is no Chiyuv. In the Parsha, in the Parsha of marrying a Grusha, he's not in that part of the Torah. Sami Surim applied to Kranim and not to me. Sami Surim applied to women and not to me. Yeah, I'm allowed to wear shorts in the street, you know? I'm saying there are all kinds of things like that. So in this case, when the Koyen goes and the Kaddish a Grusha via Israel, Ah, uh, we're going to see the difference. Why? Mitzad Ba'al Chiyuv. He has no Chiyuv. There's no prohibition there. If it was him, he's acting in be on behalf of the Koyen. It's his Koyach that gets Koyach from the Koyen. He has no Koyach here that's bad. Israel is allowed to do that. I Lifneiver. So as I said, Lifneiver is not the issue. We're not talking about Lifneiver. We're talking about the Avera of marrying a Grusha. That Avera of marrying a Grusha is not an Avera for his soil. Lifnev is a different story. He also does more keep has other issues. Ma Kesha. Now, Mashiach and Baal Bechira is a Baal Bechira. Inami, another alternative answer. Ish, the Omer la le Isha actually caught on. A man wants to have his little son unfortunately look like a goy. And he wants him to, chas v'sholem, not to have the payers. He wants his kid to have a nice, nice, in inverted commas, like unfortunately, they do in our holy neighborhood, which is a horrendous thing, and I wonder why people don't talk against it. And that is, he wants his little boy to have the cool, fashionable haircut of the football player, sorry, soccer, and what? And he wants to shave his face. And he tells the woman, Barber, you do that. He goes to the hairdresser. You guys may ask, what's the story? What? I'll tell you exactly what the story is. A woman, yeah? Again, forget about Leaf Neighbor, okay? Thank you. There is a prohibition to have your, to, to cut your payas, you know, to, to shave your payas, right? And also, there is an Easter, which really separates the two Easterim, Makif and Nikaf. I'm not allowed to shave other people's payas. I really have Rachmanus on those barbers. They're really, I don't know what they'll do in Olam Abba, really. I really, I see them smoking outside the, the barbershop there. I really, really feel bad for them because I, I don't know, I'm not Israeli enough to tell them. But if they do that all the time, they are the ones over Easter all the time. The one who does the short haircut, two short haircuts here for the other people is over Isurim every second, which is bad. They have keep on their head, which is cool. And then there's another Easter to have it done to you. I'm passive. I come to the barber shop, but I ask him, please do this and that. I want to look like a Brazilian football player, which is very cool. Yeah. And I ask him to do it to me. That's also an Easter. A woman. Last time I checked, most women don't have beards. And even if they do, they don't have the Easter of shaving. A woman would ask you, you know, I have a little bit of hair. Rabbi, am I allowed to use the razor? Yes. Yes. A woman is allowed to shave her entire hair, razor, even a mitzvah, but the satin nails, yeah. A woman is allowed to shave the whole thing, even if she has hair. Yes, she's allowed to. So too, a woman, again, leave Leaf Neighbor alone. Leaf Neighbor is not a friend today. <laughs> a woman has no Easter to also give the wrong haircut to other people. A woman is not allowed to, is allowed to, maybe the Rabbana knows, Leif Neiver, but if you don't have Leif Neiver in the story, the Isser of Makif and Nikaf, that Isser doesn't apply to women. Yeah, if somebody wants to, <laughs> I'm not saying this Allah Cholamais and it's not really funny, I'm not being serious now, but if somebody wants to have that funny haircut, he better go to a woman, not to a man. Again, I'm not saying this practically, I'm saying, if a woman does that and that and the tar, it's not as bad as if a man does it. Now, what's our story? Comes Mr. Man, Mr. Israeli, Israel, you, Yid, a Jew comes and tells a woman, you shave my kid's uh, hair like that. So that she is of herself, there's no chiyuvim, she's allowed to. Yet she was sent by him. She was sent by somebody who was not allowed to. And she wouldn't do it on her own. She is fulfilling his command. She's being his shlicha. Of, of the Meshaleach. Same question again. Mitzad Baal Bechira, she has a choice. She can say no. Nobody's pointing a gun at her head. He gives her money. She's a hairdresser. But Mitzad the Chiyuvim, she's not Bar-Chiyuv. She's allowed to do it, make her a din. She's not a Bar-Chiyuv. Oh, so we found two cases of Jewish adults 
where they have Bechira, but they don't have a halachic, halachic involvement in the story. And therefore, now we'll understand the Gemara. Lehach lishna de Omar, according to the Lishna, now we're going to the Lishna of who? We're going to talk about Rav Sama. Rav Sama, the second Lishna said, the Omar kolecha di bai ovid, i bai loy ovid, lo mechaev sholchoi. According to Rav Sama, who said that if the Shaliach is about Bechira, we're not talking about mitzvahs and averis. We're not judging anybody here. We're not being the Rambam counting the mitzvahs. It's a fact. That lady or that man are Baal Bechira, right? And if it's a Baal Bechira, then the, right? Iboy Ovid, Iboy Loy Ovid, then the Mesholeach is not Chayev, they are Chayev. Hachinami, Iboy Ovid, Iboy Loy Ovid, right? Lome Chayev Sholchon. Here too, since the lady chose to do it, she's not Chayev, and the Mesholeach is not Chayev either. Lome Chayev Sholchon. Why? Because since she chose to do it, it's her Maisa. He chose to do it. I'm a Kohen, and I'm really absolutely head over heels with that Grusha. I don't want to commit the Maisa myself, if it makes a difference. Yeah? I tell the Jew to do it, the regular soil. He did it. So who's Chayev? Nobody's Chayev. Nobody's Chayev. Why? The person who did it, the woman in the haircut, or the or the soil, they're not Chayev. They, they're no Chisurim over there. And the Meshaleach, the Kohen, or the father of that kid, they're not chayv either. Why? Because really, since the, the shliach has a choice, yes or no, it's up to them. It's their maisa. It's their deed, and it's disconnected from the meshaleach. They chose to do it. They chose to do it. Ah, there's no avera. Good. But nobody was over an avera. Cool. Nice. Better. We're not looking to incriminate anybody. Better. Yoki. Now, I'll, say, I'll tell you soon, if you want. And the coin is married. And the coin is married by the Evan, and very nice. Now, however, Jeffrey, <laughs> you're mechaven to Toysfus. You're mechaven to Toysfus, but we're going to see Toysfus soon. Generally speaking, Jeffrey, you're right. A coin who marries a Grusha, but the Evan, they're married. It's an Isra every second, and they're married. There's a Mechloikis in different places in the Gemara. What if it's that got married, but they didn't yet have relations? Is he already over by the marriage, or is he over by the Be'ila? That's a Shaila. But even those who say Be'ila, they say once he was with her in relations one time, retroactively the Avera starts with the Kiddushin. So everybody says Toysus. Everybody agrees that the, the nasty bit, Lemais at the end of the day, is, is Kiddushin. Assuming they will consummate the marriage, as we call it, Lemais the Kiddushin is ready in Avera. Oh, but if we say that it was a choice of who? Of the Shliach. He chose to listen to me and be Mekadish the woman for me. Then Lemais the coin did not do any Avera. By the Kiddushan, at least. Maybe by keeping living together, or relations. We'll talk about it another time. The Kiddushan themselves, there's no of the of the Sholech. However, one second, one second, one second. However, let's see the other side. Yet, Lehach Lishna, we're coming to show the difference, right? Lehach Lishna, the Omar, according to the other explanation, actually the first one of Ravina, that said, Kolecha de Shlech Lava Chiyuva Mikhaev Sholchoi. Ah, we said, when is the Meshaleach Hayev? When the Shlech is not Bar Chiyuva, when I'm a Shaleach, a floor, <laughs> I'm a Shaleach, an inanimate, inanimate object, a robot, then really I am Chayev, the Shaleach. Ani Nami, if those two came and the love Nech Yuvaninu, the not Nech Yuva, Mechayev Sholchon, ay, 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 which means because the not Nech Yuva, because they did it on their own will, but they are not the ones that actually carry any Avera, the Avera has to go somewhere, according to this Lishna. Where did the Avera go? On the first guy, the Meshaleach. In other words, since they chose to do it, but they didn't choose to do an Avera. They chose to do something that for them is okay. It's absolutely fine for Miss Miss Barber, Mrs. Barber. She's allowed to shave wherever she wants, any way she wants, right? Mimela what? She has no Avera. So who is the culprit? The Meshaleach. The Vera is running around in mid-air and has to fall somewhere. And where did it fall? On the Meshaleach. Because you can't put the blame on the Shliach. Because they have no halachic chiyuv. They chose, they chose. It's like I choose to drink tea. It's absolutely fine for them. Besides Leif Neiver. But we're not discussing Leif Neiver. We're discussing the actual Vera itself. The, the Akotpa or the thing. What? The Meshaleach is either the Koyen who wants to marry a Grusha 
or the father was very modern <laughs> and wants the child to have a forbidden haircut. By the way, the same says Rashi, the same would apply if the woman would be Megalech, an adult. If that woman is Megalachas, the Hakofas Roish, the Isu, 50 years old, it's the same thing. We only say it's a cotton. You know, we only say it's a cotton. Listen to Rashi, and it's scary. Rashi says, because we don't imagine that Jewish Gedolim would agree to such a thing. The Gemara in its wildest dream doesn't imagine that a Yid, normal Yid, more or less from, would actually allow that plot of one man telling a woman, be Megalech, the third person, like a, like a pumpkin, like a, like a this. So Mimele, we say a cotton. Tani more helpless, and they're, they're kind of abusing the cotton by Megalech in that way, and he doesn't know any better. You know, the cotton may be four years old, and they give him a candy, and they shave him like a, to look like a film. Look look where we're holding today. Bochshem, Achshodo, there's a lot of good things nowadays, but uh, this is horrendous. I'm continuing. No, I, I'll listen to you now, and then I want to tell you Tosis. I'm listening to Ellen's question every... Yes. I don't read the entire Tosis now, due to that we still have a whole page ahead of us. But but you can see Tosis at the second wide line. Tosis asks the question, the Maisa, Tosis asks that, why should anybody here get any malchus, any punishment, Kiddushin alone, according to Rava, are not Mikhaev unless there was Bia. And then Tosis answers, no, Lamaisa, once he's boil, then he already has to get lashes, the coin for the Kiddushin. Inami Yeshloim, another answer to Tosis, the Afle Rove, Nafkamina, there's an Afkamina between the two answers, whether Shlichus applies or doesn't apply. Again, what's the story? A coin sent Israel to be Mekadesh, Miss, Miss, whatever, Grusha. To the coin. Then the question is what? We up until now only spoke about one of Kamina who gets punished. According to the first uh, 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 opinion, nobody gets punished. Their Balab here that chose to do it. But it's not an Easter. And the coin is caught free because he says everyone blames the other. The coin says he did it and he has the choice to, to listen to me or not, right? So Mimela, nobody gets punished. Mashek and Lefi, who? Lefi, the second opinion. Lefi, the second sad. Since Lamaisa. It is, there are not Balei Halacha, they're not Balei Chiyuv, so the coin is what is going to be Chayim. But, as Jeffrey pointed out, Chiyuv or not Chiyuv is the only in the question. The question is also, do the Kiddushim actually apply? Because if the Shlichus is not a Shlichus, then the woman is just not married. If the Shlichus, if there's no, this invisible line connecting the Meshalech and the Shliach, right? So the woman, if it's severed, there's no connection between it, so the shlichus doesn't function, then the lady's not married. And that's beautiful, Jeff, that's what Tyson says. kiddushin. If the shlichus applies, because we say, yes, yes, shliach, let's vera, in this case, then the Mr. Cohen and Mrs. Grusha are married, shall we tell the mazel tov? No, but they're married. However, if the shlichus does not apply, then there's no kiddushin, she's not married, because nothing happened. Because if we say that it was their doing, it's their job and not mine, I'm disconnected. They're not loike, but they functioned. They were Makadish on their own choice, by their own choice. And therefore, the, the shlichus applies to me, to Mr. Cohen. Then she's Megoreshes. And otherwise, no. That's, these are the two tzodim. Now we continue. One question. I'm very, very happy to see you. And I will listen to you now. And then you continue. Yes. Right. Yeah, okay. Comes now the opposite question. Second line in the wide lines. Is there anybody who actually says that a chotzer is not because of Yad, but is rather because of Shlichus? Is that so? The Atanya says in the Brisa, Yodo. What does Yodo mean? Her hand. That posuk is mentioned regarding get. Yeah? The Nosan Be Yodo Setho Christus. Okay? In the hand of the woman is where the get should rest. And the Yodo, that is only true about the hand of the woman, Gaga Chatzel for Minayim. But if it's any of her domains, her roof, her backyard, front yard, and he threw the get over there, the husband, Minayim, how do you know really that it's also considered as Gerushin because she obtained the get? So you see outright. right. You see, Mefurish, 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 Abraisa, that Chotzer, 
for a guest, Kenyan Chotzer, he threw it into, she, she owns a house. She is a self-reliant woman. She owns the whole house. And what? He threw it into the house. She's Magoreshes with the intention, your divorce pa paper airplane. <laughs> Whoop, into her Chotzer, she's Magoreshes. And we say it's because of Yad. So how can other people tell me that it's because of Shlichus? How could you say such a thing? How can Rabbi Yechonor Shlakish argue on something which is the Mufur Shem Yeah? Answers the Gemara, a whole revolutionary idea. Wow. In other words, everyone agrees that Chotzer is because of Yad when it comes to Get. Get and Kinyonim are not the same thing because we say loyal Finan Mamoinum Isu. I should know that. Mamoin and Isurim, prohibitions of Eshes Ish and money, are two separate areas in Holocho. So obtaining a Get is not like obtaining a gold watch. It's a different story altogether with many differences. So when it comes to getting the get, it's because of Yodo. Everyone agrees it's considered as extended hand, as Mufurshan and the Toiro. Keep legal in and Metzia. The question is regarding a found object in the Chotzer. Masova, Yeltin and Metzia, mi get. One opinion holds, we learn Metzia from get. Metzia and get, you learn one from the other. Yeah, and look at Rashi. Ki echid gabi get is le Chotzer lektano, gabi Metzia nami isla. I want to remind you, Yud Omud Beis, the Mechloikis between Rabbi Yechon and Shlakish started with Ktana, where Rishlakish said, Ktana ein la chotzer ve'en la arba'amos, says Rishlakish, and Rabbi Yechon says she does. A man wants to divorce his 10 years old wife, says Rishlakish, that she has no hand, which means she has, not that she doesn't have a hand, excuse me, she has no chotzer. There's no kin in chotzer by who? By the Ktana. Now, you can't say by get. No way. By get, everyone agrees, both Rish Lakish and Be'er she gets the get in the Chotzer. The question is, as Rashi says, one opinion holds, Metzia is like get, is Rish Lakish. Just that she has no Chotzer for get, she doesn't have it for the Metzia either. She cannot obtain anything there. Both boy and girl who are Ktanim don't have it. Mar Sova, Rabbi Yochanan says, loyal Tina and Metzia mi get. Look at Rashi, please. Mar Sova, loyal Tina, mamoyna meisura, as I told you. Ah, beautiful Rashi, which we have to see, and that's Rabbi Yochanan. What did Rabbi Yochanan say again? Mamoin from Isura are two different things, and therefore, by get, Ektana gets it into her Chotzer, but by money, a gold watch or, or anything that may be found is not really Kin and Chotzer. Ktanim don't have Kin and Chotzer. Continues Rashi. When it comes to Mamoin, we learn Chotzer from Imimotze Timotze. Which means what? In other words, there are two different sources. There are two different sources. One source is for what? For Ktana, and that is the source regarding Yad. When it comes to money, which is not get, money, you learn from where? From Shlichus, that you learn from a thief. Dafka from a thief in Mimotse Timotse, that's what you learn. Chotzer is Shlichus. It continues Rashi. The Torah writes it to me in the, in the least likely place. Because if not for the Torah telling me that a Ganav has Chotzer as a Kenyan, I would say, the Torah wants to tell me, no, in your face. Because in this case, it's an exception to the rule. We have Shlech Ledvar Vera when the poor Shliach is a few bricks and stones. So let's summarize again. Everybody agrees when it comes to Ktana, when it comes to Get, the source is Yad. When it comes to the other items, not get but money, any money mitzia that comes and falls into someone's backyard, do we learn it from Yad or do we learn it from Shlichus? Machloikas. Yeah, do we learn it from Get and it's also Yad? Or does it have an independent source from Ganav and it's Shlichus? That's a Shaila. Nafkamina, who cares Yad or Shlichus? Cotton. A cotton is no Shlichus. Yeah, a cotton only has Yad. Cotton has a hand, the cotton cannot nominate you, appoint you as a shliach. That's the difference. And that's why, yeah, Mimela says here, we see again that Rabbi Yochanan says that yesh lechotzer, yeah, yesh lechotzer, she has the chotzer. Okay, now. Right. Iboy Seima, Iboy Seima, another, another chat. 
Bektana kula alma loy pliga del filim and tia miget. Enachnam, when it comes to a girl, only a girl can get divorced, the female girl, a boy cannot get divorced, meaning to receive a get. So since a ktana receives a get, Mimela also will learn Metzia from get. So if a ktana herself has chotzel, everyone would agree she can obtain lost objects in that chotzel. They argue about a little boy, a boy under bar mitzvah that has a house. He has his own chotzel, his own balcony, now that cotton is an argument. Why? Maso about Yalfin and cotton Miktana. Uh, one of them says we learn cotton from Ktana, just like Ktana may obtain through Chotzer, cotton also has Kinyan Chotzer. Yeah, that is Lishlakish. Maso about Yalfin and cotton Miktana. Maso about no. The other one says no. Ktana may get a get, and also she may get money through the Chotzer because it's Mefurish and the Torah, and we extend it one step. From Ktana get, which is in the Torah, to Ktana receiving money, which we learn. But the male cotton, that's too far already. Since he never receives gitim, there's nothing of a man receiving a get. The male, the man doesn't receive a get. A cotton doesn't receive a get. He also does not receive any money through the chotzer. The boy say, or another pshat. Ah, they never argued. They never argued and everything is good, which means... Uh, Shimon and Lakish, when, what, what, was our, what was our attack? We really attacked the Shlakish. Why? The Shlakish, how can you say that the Ktana, yeah? How can you say that uh, the Ktana is no Chotzer, right? Of course, the Ktana, she, you think she's no Chotzer, right? If the Chotzer is because of, uh, I'm sorry, you didn't know about this? Yeah, if the Ktana is no Chotzer, she cannot get the, 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 the Gerish in there. But then we said, we see Mefursh in the Torah, we see outright in the Torah, it says Yad, and Ektana has Yad, and Chotzer for Gerashin is what is an extension of Yad. Says the Gemara, no, they never argued. Rishlakish only spoke about Metzia. Look at Rashi. Abshim and Lakish Amalinian Metzia. They spoke about two different things. Don't attack Rishlakish. Rishlakish says Ektana may not receive Metzia through the Chotzer. But a get, of course she can. I know the, the draw should the positive, no problem. The Rabbi Yochanan Indian get, and Achinami. Rabbi Yochanan spoke about a get, and he said a Ktana may get her get through a Chotzer, and we all agree to that. Everyone agrees that a Ktana may get the get through the Chotzer. She may not get other monies through the Chotzer, because we don't extend it there. Or, says Rashi, cotton and Ktana. One spoke about a cotton, one about a Ktana. A Ktana may get her get, and also her money. And the cotton may not get the money. Okay, we're up to the second Mishnah. Fighter. Yes, yes, yes. Women have have it more than men in this case, because the ktana gets. Well, again, the starting point is that we all know from Mefusha Braisa that nobody can argue that the ktana receives their get in chotzer. Why? Because it says yad. A ktana has yad baruch Hashem. Two hands she has. And what? Therefore, she may get the get to her hand. And we say, Mefurish, that her chotzer is an extension of her hand. So, Ketan may get a get through her chotzer. A man may throw the get to Lekul Alma for sure. No point in arguing that. That's one point nobody argues on. A man of 30, a man, excuse me, of 14, is Megarish, is 11 years old wife, is Megarish through throwing her paper or plane of a get into her chotzer. She's Megurish 100%. So what's all discussion? The discussion is two discussions. Do we say that the Ktana can also, just that she can receive a get in the Chotzer, she can also receive money in the Chotzer because we learn money from get, but a cotton may not. Why? I'm answering you. Why? Because a cotton never gets a get. So he has no source to start with. So he doesn't get the money either. When can we say we extend the get into money, but the one who gets a get, that's a Ktana. A cotton never receives the get, so it doesn't receive money in the chotzer. That's what one opinion would hold. The other one would go more liberal and say, no, just like a ktana can get the money through the chotzer, so to the cotton gets the money through the chotzer. I am not, I'm getting close to North Korea. Any money you want to throw a person or behalf some. A person got any kin in chotzer. Any kin in chotzer, 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Someone through a hefker hundred shekel, a hefker uh, telephone. Yeah. That's the discussion. Thank you. That, that I don't want to repeat the last five minutes. So we don't have time. That's a discussion about katana and cotton. Well, one opinion would say yes. Just as she can receive a get, so to her balcony can obtain for her the whichever money or, or, or monetary item you want to talk about, yes or no. And then we say Yikstana for sure, yes. And the cotton is a question. Later. Says the Mishnah, to be reviewed, I am entering a very non-sympathetic country. <laughs> More equality. It's not the issue right now, but it's, uh, we're getting to... Uh... Oh, Baita says the Mishnah. If a woman wants to get divorced from a man, she can make his life bitter, and then uh, they put him in jail until he gives her the get. But originally, they would hit him until he would give a get. Get going. Says the Mishnah. <laughs> Shalom Eda. Says the Mishnah. A person saw people running after a metzia. Yeah. Or, or achar tzvi, achar metzia, meaning there is a metzia, and everyone's running after it. Achar tzvi, shovu, they saw everyone running to catch a deer. Misken, the deer has a broken leg, which means just like the metzia cannot run anywhere, a tzvi that has broken legs, as much as the deer is a very agile animal, when it's in a state of broken legs, lo leinu, is broken, can't, can't run anywhere. Achar gazolus shaloyporchu, or he sees them running after uh, chicks, they never learned how to fly. The Omar, and then he said, Zohtoli Sodi, the person is looking from the side, laughing away, because you know where this is taking place? This chase after the inanimate object, which everyone runs to get. You know where? It's happening in his own field. In his own field. And he says, My field is Doiche for me. Kenyan Chotzel. It's a Hefker object. Everyone running like crazy. Foolish people don't know. This is all belonging to me. And he said it belongs to me by Zhiab Sode, Zochtoloi. Then the Soda really is coined it for him. Says Toysves, which I don't have time to look at, says Toysves, he does not have to mouth it. And Toysves proves it. Remember the guy who fell on the Metzia, who dramatically threw himself on the Metzia? What did we say then? That you do not have to say my Chotzer is coined. If you're being passive, the Chotzer does it for you automatically without you doing anything. The only thing that here the Mishnah says that. That he says, um, even without saying, it still helps him, yeah. So, the Maisa, why do we mention it because of the safer? Why did the Mishnah say the word, uh, we'll see later? Says the second part of the Mishnah, it's running the normal way, very, very fast animal, a cheetah, or you have uh, birds that already know how to fly. As the deer is running, he says, my field is koine. <laughs> While the tzvi is running through, loy omer klum. Although he mouthed it, now you know why the Reisha mentioned it. In the Reisha, you don't have to say, my field got it, gets it for me. In the Seifa, even if you said it gets it for me, it's nothing. Because the deer is running through and nothing stops him, and your field is open, in that case, your field does not do the job for you. A chotzer, in this case, is eno mishtameres. The chotzer here does not bechlal, keep the stuff for you. Such a chotzer with such a deer does not help. I am um, short on questions now, so let's just continue for now. Yeah, questions 1026. Zog de Gemore. Omar, so again, so what did we say? If it's an object that stays in the field, an object that runs through your field, like an animal, today would be a car, <laughs> an automatic car, an airplane, runs through your field, it's not your airplane, yeah? In all cases, even in the case that the Sode does obtain it for him, it's only if the person stands by his field. In other words, if something falls into my marpeset and I'm in koilel, then it's not koine for me. Oh, that's what we think now. Only if I'm standing by the marpeset and the object is falling into my marpeset, the, the bundle of $100,000, then I'm koine. It sounds like a, like a condition. The yachot only works for you when you stand next to it. Frag the Gemara, is that so? Why? Why shouldn't the field be koine without him being there? 
דומה בייס בחנינה, חצר של אודם קונה לו שלא מדי טוי. בייס בחנינה, איתנה, says your chotzer is going to you even if you're not aware. Not only if you're not there, you have no idea. I'm in Koylel, my wife never calls me when I'm in love Koylel, Baruch Hashem. And what? And I have no idea that the $100 fell. And there are Koyne, the foolish. What are, you tell, what are you telling me otherwise? And says the Gemara, what I told you many times before, I hinted to it before. Hanimili, that is only true. If your field is the kind of field which, is, which keeps the stuff for you, which means it's fenced. It's surrounded by walls. It's a place that really does the job right. An apartment, a flat that really is well kept. Such a case, you don't have to know about it. You don't have to be there. It does the job by itself, like a shliach. Let's say you have a field, and that field is open to the Gansevelt. You have a field, you have a machsan completely open, with no locks and no doors even. Everyone runs in and out. It's yours. But it's a half crop. I mean, it, there's no shmira. It's not saved, not kept for itself. Not, nothing will be saved there. In that case, then we say, only if you stand by your field, says Rashi, when you're next to your field, which is not naturally guarded, but you serve as a guard. You being there is like the shmira. It compensates for the lack of shmira. Therefore, in such a case, we say Chotzer needs Shmira when there is no other Shmira. Then you have to stand there. But Bor Hashem, my apartment is locked. My apartment is uh, is, is Nishtameres. Even if I'm in Timbuktu and in Ramad B'Chemesh, something falls into my Merpeset, I'm koine. How Now I want to tell you something. That's why I was in a rush. Now we have to close the circuit, which I promised you a few days ago. Remember Dalad Amis in the street? Remember Dalad Amis in the street, right? We said it's similar to Chotzer. Dal Damas in the street, now, now I'll tell you what the Rishonim explained over there. Even if we say that my Dal Damas are like mine, but they're not Mishtamer, in a Simta, right? They're not Mishtamer, they're absolutely Hefker. That's why it's next to me. The reason why it works, because I'm there. The Dal Damas next to where I'm standing, they work, because it's me standing next to a, an area which is not otherwise guarded. That's how Daladamas works. It's a derivative of Chotzer She'en Mishtameres, unguarded, but I'm there. The whole Daladamas works with me. Very nice. Greg, any quick, quick questions, but really quick? Yes? Sorry? Yes? True, the, very nice. We said the birds, that it's not even simply can even own birds. Even the ownership of birds that fly around all the time is uh, is questionable. Very good, very good. Culture can hear, very nice. Frank the Gemara. In other words, up until now, we said they were nice svoro. But how do you know it's true? Where do you know from the chotzer she'en mishtameres, the chotzer that's not naturally guarded, there's no fence, how do you know? How do you know it's true? that only if I stand by my chotzer, which is not mishtamer, then it works, and otherwise it doesn't work. How do we know? Listen to the following case. Before we continue, you have to hear the introduction, and that is like this. This price was difficult for me, and then this morning I opened the ran. The ran shed beautiful light on the whole sugya. So we all know that there are three different things that are given to the anim in the field. Let's forget for a minute, excuse the pun, Let's forget about everything except for shikha. One of the three matonis is called shikha. Shikha means something quite simple. Let's say I work in the field, I work, I work, and I forgot. I forgot to uh, harvest, to reap one bundle of wheat. Yeah, it stayed there. Or I, after it was bundled, I forgot the bundle. The, the sheaf is called? The sheaf, I forgot it there. Yeah, and it's behind me. I forgot. Oh, that's it. You forgot, belongs to Anim. Well, you forgot, don't say, oh, now I remembered. We don't say, you know, uh, change the route, reroute, and go back to the to the to what you forgot. That stays for the anim. Yeah, your zacha mitzvah. Now we see, yeah, the Gemara says, even shaloy lishma, you forgot, even with forgetting, you can do a mitzvah of tzedakah. Now, oh, what you have to know before we start, and I'm sending you a lot of agony now, because I didn't know it when I started the sugya. When a person forgets, who has to forget? Let's say, and it's very, very, very common, 
a person who's a nice field owner, a field owner, and back then was a millionaire. A field owner, not all of them, sometimes he has workers, he has a foreman, he has workers. Oh, now the question is, what happens when the Balabais remembers all the time? He remembers all the bundles, he's on top of things, he's a very conscientious boss or foreman, yeah? And the Poyalim, they forgot, or otherwise, they forgot to harvest. And when they came, at the end of the day, he says, hey, where's the thing? That's not called shikha. Shikha midoraisa, we have to tick two boxes. The balabais forgot it, forgot about it, and the Pealim forgot to reap it or to collect it. Then it's called shikha. But if one of them forgot it and the other one did, then dot, dot, dot. Then we're going to see what happens. And soon we're going to see how it connects all to the chotzer. Okay? But midoraisa, both owner and workers both have to forget, then what happens when they both forgot about it? Then no. Then only the Anim get it. And they cannot take it back from the Anim. Right? Even if they remember, oh, the light bulb all of a sudden lit too late. Both Balabites and Pralim forgot. And then someone remembers, oh, ah, oy, oy, oy. say thank you to Hashem, you're in the mitzvah. That's the normal mechanism. The question is, what happens in the more complicated case? Let's start. At least start today and continue tomorrow. Detanya says in the rice. A person left his field and already advanced and came into town. He came into the city, came home, started having supper, let's say, or whatever. The Oimer, and he says, I know that that, that uh, bundle that Omer, that bundle that the Poyalim forget, or maybe I assume Muslim, I know my Poyalim, they probably forget it, or some Rishonim say they may have forgotten it. Lo ye shikha. I want this not to be shikha. Yeah, He says, I don't want this to be shikha. In other words, they forgot, but I'm making a statement that I do remember, that I do remember. That's what he wants to say. And he wants to say what? Even if I'll forget it later, it won't be shikha. You understand what he wants to say? I'm making a statement now to the whole world that I remember it now, and even if I forget it later, I don't want shikha to apply to it. I'm kilu marking it as part of my territory. Yochelo yeshikha. That's a nice idea, but would that work? Is it true? Is it valuable? Valid? What this guy is doing to preempt the shikha and say, even if I'll forget later, I'm preempting that it will not be shikha? Is that so? Talmud Loimer says the Gemara, no, 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 no. The shikha only applies in the sode. The sode, the shikha, In other words, the forgetfulness helps in the sode, but in the ear, yeah, there is no shikha. If you notice, but my tone of voice, there's a contradiction here with the beginning and the end. This guy wants, yes, to create shikha while in town, right? Already in town, yes. To, to avoid shikha, excuse me, to avoid shikha. And what did we say at the end of the line? You forget in the field. But if you're in the city, then shikha does not apply. So it, it is what he's doing. Let the Gemara ask the question. Aguf Akashia. The Bryce itself starts with A and, and finishes with B. The Bryce is not, is not uh, consistent. Omarta, yocholo yoshikha. Whenever the Gemara uses that tone of voice, could it be possibly be not shikha? Can we play into the tricks of this guy who wants to avoid shikha even if later on he forgets it? And so, no, 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 it's not shikha. Alma, have shikha. Which means we say, no, you can't play your tricks and it will be shikha. I'm sorry, just because you marked yourself yes now and you say, even if I forget it later, I make it tonight. No, it is shikha. You can't avoid shikha. And yet, then I'll see And then we continue to speak in a completely opposite tone. We say, in the field, shikha applies. But in the ear, there is no shikha. We said this guy's in town. So forget, I'm a lawyer shikha. So he said the guy was in town. Shikha does not apply there. So he's right. If he already got that far to town, then we say there, there's no shikha. What's going on? So in other words, when the guy's in town, he's in town already. He, he went to the whole stages. He closed the door of the, of the, of the, of the, of the field. He went in the highway, he went home, he had chopper, he's having supper, and I was making a statement. I know these guys, the poilim, they already forgot. They already forgot. Ah, if they forget and I forget, then we have the whole electric circuit, right? Then, no, 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 he doesn't want to miss it. I like to give Tzedakah my way. 
I'm now making a statement before I forget that even if I will forget, it will not be considered shikha. Does it work or doesn't work? The Bryson seems to be very ambiguous. Da -da -da -da. I can continue if you want, but we'll continue tomorrow. But I'm not going to review tomorrow. Tomorrow will start from El Alav. So remember, tomorrow in the middle of Yudalef and Mudalef, and we have to know the case. I'm telling you now, instead of the of the intro of tomorrow, the case is as follows. Mr. Field Owner, his Koyalim forgot, and he knows them. Or today, <laughs> today would be easy. He has the CCTV at home. Ah, he saw the Koyalim forgetting. That's good. The 2022 kind of tomorrow. And now he's at home having his uh, his supper, and he says, oh, the Shlemazos, they forgot. Ah, I don't want to be the one forgetting also, but maybe I'll forget it soon. I'm going to start learning forgetting. I'm making a statement now, but I still remember. Now I'm marking it, and even if I forget later, it won't be shikha. Does it work or doesn't it work? Town, field, that's a question. Stay tuned. Da -da -da -da, and we'll see tomorrow. And also we'll see how it's connected to Kenyan Chotzer She'en Mishtameres. That's also a point, the main point. Thank you very much. Atzloch and have a good day. Thank you for coming. Sorry for the scare yesterday. Bochashem, I managed to spread the shear somewhat. A grocery store. Have a good day. Thank you.